Nothing is better than when you get a DM from a brand like, yo, I seen you've been trying this, but have you tried this lately? Shout out to the homie Gabriel over at Dior. Money reached out. He was like, yo, have you tried our line? And I was like, one or two. He's like, yo, you need to try these shits. I'm going to bless you with some samples so you can get your nose and try to familiarize yourself with some of that Maison Christian Dior vibes so you can see what good is. I was like, you feeling real confident, my guy? Got the package. Bless me with it. Shout out to him. Let's swoon my motherfucking music so we can do first impressions running through some of these fragrances. Bless the morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, c 3 u to the a Nothing means more than a handwritten note. And if you can tell, my man Gabriel definitely has some fantastical handwriting. I might just steal this as my own signature and based on the card that he wrote and this signature here, best believe Gabriel has a misdemeanor for graffitiing walls at the middle of the night. I'm just putting it out there. I know you've been locked up in the kitchen. So he was gracious enough to bless me with 10 fragrances. Shout out to Nordstrom's Dior. I got 10 fragrances here to give you first impressions on. One of them I've already spoken about, so I'm kind of gonna eliminate that one. Or should I? You know what? I'm not gonna eliminate it. I'm gonna revisit it and see if it does tickle my asshole. Cause I had it for a while, I did enjoy it, but then I ended up flipping the bottle. I'll revisit that one and I'll smell all of them, giving them my first impressions or first vibes from them. And I'll let you know what I think. And I'll even give them a little rating system. There are 10 fragrances. I don't like making long ass videos and nobody wants to hear me rant for that long. So let's get right into it. The first one I'm gonna pick up is Amber Nui. Got some test strips. Now let's start this shit again. Amber Nui. Let's crack this motherfucker open and let's give this shit a little sniffle. I'm not gonna go through notes and all that right now. I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. I like it. I don't like it. You know, the usual nonsense that I talk. Spraying this joint on the strip. Amber Nui. I'm anticipating I'm gonna like this one. Let's see. And I do. Ambery with a slight bit of freshness, but it does have a little bit of a sugary molasses kind of feel to it. I like. You definitely get a mild rose. That amber is really good here, actually. Wow, really, really good. Rose, amber, slightly spicy. I don't know if it's pepper. Slightly though, slightly. It's really more of a amber and rose. Wow, yeah. Oof, I like this one. Ooh, I like this. I like this, I like this. I'm gonna give this a 7.8. Amber Nui, at this point, 7.8. That's good. Next one. The next one is Ballad or Ballad, yeah, Ballad, Ballade, Savage. Can't fucking read. Ballade, Savage, all right? Let's do one more spray. See, I'm in the middle of uh, white floral, a little Neroli-esque, but not crazy. Something sweet, sweet fruit, citrusy, very airy, mm. spring-like, fruity, white floral, airy spring, spring comes to mind. There's a little bit of some Neroli vibes in here. Comforting, kind of cuddly, clean. It smells like what I want clean laundry to smell like. It just, I get that kind of smell. I don't get really a sex appeal of it. I get more warmth, cuddly, super clean laundry, like oh, amazing detergent kind of laundry. But I get white florals, airy, sweet fruit. 6.2, 6.2. Next one is Lucky. Oh, floral.com, fresh floral. Not too senior citizen-ish, but definitely more on the feminine side, more mature. It's like a cool hip granny kind of smell to me. Not something that I personally would wear. It's not a bad fragrance. It's just not in the vein of what I like to wear. It definitely smells like just an abundance of florals with freshness. Yeah, it just smells like a more mature, sexy woman. But mature, I mean like, 50s, 60s, that kind of mature. Three, eight, next one. The next one is the cashmere. So I'm assuming cashmere, they're trying to go for that route. I don't know, we'll see. It's like he's saying, like the catch me outside chick. I just sprayed this shit backwards like a fucking idiot. Holy citrus. It's nice citrus though. Mmm. Wow, it's like, this can't be like, this is at least two citrus combinations. Mmm, I got a little sour. Got orangey sweet. Maybe tangerine. Black currant, mmm. Wow, it's just more of a sweet and sour bitter sensation. Ooh, there's some woods coming through. Mmm. It's nice though, I like this. 
This is very summertime chill, white t-shirt, jean shorts, knee-high socks, uptowns. Just a weird fucking Brooklyn combination. Sweet and sour citrus is what I'm getting from this with some little woodiness. There's some florals in here too, like white florals. Again, there's a lot of white florals going on in these fragrances that I've smelled so far. At least that's what I'm getting. Sweet and sour citrus, some woods and white florals again. Very fresh, very chill, low key, not a sexy beast, just more chill, airy, citrusy, fresh, sweet and sour. A solid seven, flat seven. I like this, I like this. This is intriguing, it makes me wanna continue smelling it, so I like that, seven, for sure. The next fragrance is Eden Rock. Eden Rock, like the hotel in Miami, the Eden Rock, cause that should be a turn up. Yo, summer, summer, summer time. It does smell like fucking Miami Beach. I just went to Wet Willys and ordered a cola cap after leaving the Eden Rock, after having a threesome with some random chicks that only looked good at night. Oh, coconut, citrus, bergamot. Woo! Mmm. This is good. I like this. This is summertimevibes.com. Again, it's really all I get from is this. I, f I get like a bergamot, coconut, salt water, Miami Beach in a fucking spray bottle. You literally just threw a pinga colada all over your fucking face. Because this is a party. Eden Rock Hotel, eat your heart out. If this was a fragrance named after the Eden Rock, then it did it justice, because this definitely smells like Miami in a fucking bottle. Seven, eight, seven, nine. I like this. This is summertime vibes all day. I like this coconutty deliciousness. Has a little bit of Virgin Island, though. Has a little bit of a Virgin Island, kind of. Now that I'm smelling it more, a little bit of Virgin Island, but I like this. Next one. The next one is Gris Dior. Sounds like you're saying Chris Dior or Grey Dior. Okay, Grey Dior, like Christian Grey? Oh shit, that's some, that's some sexy red room shit. Again, floor, do you fucking love florals? Definitely love florals, holy shit. This is more of a rosy floral. Mmm, mmm, earthy, floral. Ooh, that initial opening is a little funny, but did, like seconds within this drying down. Mmm, wow. Vetivery, earthy, rose. Bergamot, sandalwood? No, maybe sandalwood, but rose, vetiver, bergamot. This has something about it. This is, ooh, this is interesting, I like this. The beginning was just a little weird on paper. Christian Dior definitely has this floor, like they have, they, I, again, I don't know, but it, it smells like there's floral everywhere, like heavy, like their florals is like their prominent shit, it's crazy. This is nice though. This has an intriguing quality about it, interesting. This is somebody who's really good at talking and you just wanna listen to them and tell war stories and hear about their past and shit and you just wanna focus while drinking cocktails. Just shut up and listen, which is something I rarely fucking do, but this is like most interesting man conversational piece. I like this. Um, the beginning I didn't love so much, but it really changed so quickly on paper into something that I really don't mind. I'm gonna give this like a 7.5. 7-5. Beginning was a little suspect, but it really turned out to be something quite nice. Next one. Now we're getting into the big boys, the 7.5 mils, and this is Bois d'Arent. This one I had a full bottle of a while ago, and uh, I let it go. Are these like, oh, don't tell me these are droppers. Are they droppers? I hope they're spray. Oh, fucking droppers. You could have put like a cool sprayer on this shit. That would have been dope. Come on, Christian Dior. The bottles are fucking cool. Look at this, I look like an idiot. Like, like, come on, man. Very nice. Definitely brings back memories. I had this and what was the other one? Feb Delicio. Mmm. Nice, but also familiar. Mm. It is good, though. Smelling better now than it did before, honestly. Ambery, sweet, honey, vanilla, woody. Is there? Is there booze in here? Mmm. It smells a lot better than it did before. I don't know, maybe it's just my nose has changed up a little bit. It smells a lot better than it did before. Is there booze in here? Huh, I don't fucking remember. Yeah, honey, amber, vanilla, something earthy, boozy, sweet, sexy, warm, unisex, elegant, slightly seductive. Damn, definitely smells better than it did before. I don't know, I'm really liking this one now. Right now on paper, I'm gonna give this an eight. This is, mmm. Ooh, some, something smells a little bit medicinal. Little Vicks Vapors. 
Oh, I like this. Eight. Next one is Oud Rosewood. It's some dumbass shit. I gotta be doing this. <clears throat> Oody, leather, rough on the nose. <clears throat> shit. All right. It's coming down. But that was that was a punch. Dry. Leather. Oud. Woody. Hydish. Incense? A little little tough here. Cold weather only. Dark, sexy, hair slicked back. Gel. Nice thick coat, scarf, shoes, boots. Yeah, it definitely has calmed down for sure, but that's what I'm getting from it. Oud, leather, dry hide, earthy, woody, mature, sexy, mysterious man. Not bad, the, the opening would have thrown me off. Good, but six, eight, next one. Ooh, spice blend. All right, got high hopes for spice blend. I ain't gonna lie to you. Got high hopes for spice blend. Let's do some magic on the spice blend here. Spice blend better be fucking good. I got good hopes. Got high hopes. Mmm. My speed. Mmm. There's ginger in here. Ooh, boozy, boozy. Boozy ginger. Pepper. Definitely smells like a spice blend, but I'm getting a lot of pepper, nut, nutmeg? Pepper, nutmeg, booze, ginger, sexy. I like this. This is a vibe. This is might up my speed. Look, I got goosebumps. No cap. You can see the hairy tits on my tattoo. Those are goosebumps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. Versatile. All season. Office. Sexy. Social gathering. Party. More like a cocktail dinner. Close encounter. This is... This is an eight. Eight. Maybe an eight, two. Spice blend. Very good. I like that one. Next one. Last and certainly not least, Oud Ispahan. Oud Ispahan. Ah, fuck. Just spilled the whole shit. I got this one on skin, so I don't even need the paper. Just spilled it everywhere. Oh, very familiar. This has more of that Oud sensation that I've smelled this, but I have something in my collection that smells like this. Absolutely. This has that rose Oud combination with Something else, a little bit of a spice here. Can't put my finger on it. Or can I? Wood rose combination, kind of in that same bubble that we, we know. Not as abrasive, not as harsh, but it has a spice here. Some little bit of a Middle Eastern kind of spice. Woody, wood rose, woody. Nice, very nice, 6.6. Wow, man, Gabriel, thank you so much. I mean, this was, this definitely gave me a dope perception of the fucking line. So for me, the ones that did it for me were Amber Nui is absolutely bottle worthy for sure. Bois d'Argent, I mean, pfft, dope. Spice Blend, Lit, and Eden Rock. Eden Rock was fire. Those are, I mean, that's a, a close runner up would be Gris Dior. What I do get from this fragrance line is that there's a lot of floral components, whether it be rose or white florals, at least in this collection that I have here, I do smell a lot of white florals, a lot of flowers in these combinations. They do have a lot of nice blends and Middle Eastern mixes and nuttiness and spiciness to them, which I absolutely enjoy. But there wasn't one that was a complete, like blew me out of the water, but Spice Blend, Bois de Argent, and Amber Nui are definitely ones that I'm interested in getting because those are really, really, really nice. Eden Rock has a little bit of Virgin Island water vibes, but it feels so Miami, so tropical, so turned up that I appreciate that one truly. Again, shout out to Dior, Nordstrom, Gabriel, I appreciate it, bro. Your handwriting is fucking unbelievable. I want to see your rap sheet and your mugshot. I appreciate y'all motherfuckers. Let me know which one of the... Maison Christian Dior line, I absolutely need to smell if I haven't smelled them all. And which one is your favorite? And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? Biggest in the game. Smooches. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would... <laughs>